Hello everybody, it's Melanie from Mel's Inky Fingers and I am here to share this really cool uh, embellishment with you called Enamel Effects from Stampin' Up. Now we have two different collections of enamel effects in our catalog. We have a pearl eye set and a metallic set. They're absolutely beautiful. The techniques that you can do with these are the same, whether you, you're using the pearl or the metallic. And let's take a closer look at these. So the metallic set comes as a three pack and you get copper, gold, and silver in your pack so that you can create all kinds of colored elements for your projects. And then the pearl eye set comes with white, red, and black. And the black is really pretty. It's almost like a charcoal gray with all the pearl elements in there. So I will squeeze these out on a piece of scrap paper for you so that you can have a chance to see the colors. Now you're going to find these in the annual catalog, but they're a little tricky to find. So I wanted to show you exactly where you're going to find them in the May 24 to April 25 catalog. If you turn to your index, you're going to find it right here towards the top where it says embellishments. And here they are right here, enamel effects. And you have your metallic and your pearl. They're on different pages, which is 109 and 111. So let's look. They're really easy to miss. So here is page 109. And here is your enamel effects. It's really easy to mistake it for maybe a bottle of glue. And they're showing you how you can make little um, dot elements to add to your projects. And I'll show you a close up of how to do this. But here's your pearlized enamel effects right here. It comes as a three pack for $15. You have your pearl here on page 109. And then here on page 111, it's way down here at the bottom of the page and it's the metallic enamel effects right here, a three pack for the same price. So let's take a closer look at how these work. So I love to use these by misting and applying them direct to my paper in most instances, but you can splatter them and do so many cool things. And it's really easy to use these to add the elements to your projects that you might want to just help make them a little extra. So here's examples of how it looks applying direct to paper. Here's examples of the silver and the gold when you missed a dark cardstock. And you can use them on textured surfaces and on smooth surfaces. The sky is the limit with these. So let's look at how I did some of these. Let's first look at misting. So the way I mist enamel effects on my projects is I use the Stampin' Spritzers, and these are also from the Stampin' Up! catalog. And I add some rubbing alcohol in here, and I'll fill this about halfway. And then I squeeze the enamel effects inside. And then you can see it down here. You're going to shake these really, really, really well to disperse the enamel effects into the rubbing alcohol. Once you've done that, you can mist this on your projects however you wish. When you store it, you can see the enamel effects will settle out and that's okay. You just give it a good shake and then it's mixed right in again so that you can mist. Now, I like to use these either on white or a dark surface, but you could really use them on any colors you want. So let me show you just how easy it is to get that intense shimmer on your projects. And really the amount of shimmer will vary simply by how much pearl or metallic enamel effects you squeeze into your rubbing alcohol. And I put a lot in. I squeeze, squeeze and make and cover the bottom of my tube and then shake it in because I really like it to be shimmery. So I use a piece of the cardboard that comes in designer series paper to protect my work surface. And this is just kind of my misting mat. And I'll put, let's do the Blackberry Bliss actually. Um, and you can do gold, bronze, or silver, or your pearl like I had mentioned. So why don't we do some gold on here. Gold looks really pretty with um, Blackberry Bliss. So I just simply um, hold it kind of far away and then I just give it a squeeze 
And you can do one, two, three, however many you want, depending on how much shimmer you want. And then you just let this dry. And as it dries, it flattens back out. You probably noticed that it curved when it got the moisture on it. But as this dries, it's going to flatten out and you're going to get to see how cool that shimmer is on there. So I'm just going to set this aside for a minute. And then when it dries, I'll bring it back in and show you. And then I just label my misters. So this says silver enamel effects. This is just a piece of washi tape that I've written on here. You could also put a piece of just plain scotch tape on here and write on it with a Sharpie, just so that you know what color is in here if you have multiples. I always have tons of these little misters sitting around because not only do I add enamel effects to rubbing alcohol, but I also add re-inker so that I can mist color onto my projects. All right, another way that I like to use the enamel effects is applying it directly to uh, cardstock. And you can do this on both smooth or textured pieces. And I have a couple of pieces here that were run through embossing folders so that you can see. And I think maybe I'll do some of the white pearl on this one so that you can see just how pretty it is. And you can put this right on a block. You can put it on, here's an acrylic block. Sometimes I'll squeeze it directly on there. You can squeeze it onto a silicone mat. I use this a lot. It's your preference or right directly on your glass mat studio. So initially when you start squeezing this, you're gonna get like a little air poof. So if you're trying to squeeze this on your cardstock, you might wanna make sure you get that air poof out. But then I take a tool here. Let me put a little more on there. I take one of these tools, and again, these are from the catalog, and I just kind of spread it out like this so that you have kind of a thin layer on the bottom of your tool. And then I just drag it across, right across that texture. And you don't necessarily want it all covered evenly. The idea is that you get just kind of irregular texture and hopefully you can see that it will let it dry and get a good look now this is tone on tone but you can also do color on color so for example let's do some gold and we'll do the gold on this pecan pie piece here gold will look really pretty and again I'm just going to kind of spread this out a little bit and pick some up on my tool and go against the grain of all this texture and you want it to get down in those crevices don't be afraid to add there's a ton of this in a bottle it will give you great satisfaction if you actually finish it do you find that satisfying when you actually empty something. I love when I use up a whole container of something. All right, so here is gold on pecan pie, and you can see just how beautiful that is. You can just create some of these, set them aside, and keep them on your desk so that when you want to add a cool element to a project, you have it ready. You could die cut out of this or punch shapes out of these textures. And then you can also do the same thing to just flat surfaces. These are die cut clouds. And I added silver and bronze so that you can have colored clouds. You could also add a tiny bit of ink to this if you wanted to and really make it extra fun and special. So let's set this aside to dry. I'm looking at my misted pieces. They're already flattening out. Now you can also add a little bit of color to your images by using water painters and my this the water painters come as a set of three again you can find these in the annual catalog and my favorite water painter is this one with the wide bristles i use it a lot and the technique I'm going to do, I like to do best with dry bristles. So I do have some water in here. I don't um, want to squeeze any of that out. I'm just going to use this and wipe the water out. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of 
enamel effects and you don't want much on here. You want it to look like a dry brush um, technique. And I stamped a couple of solid images and I just start at one end and I'm just gonna flick. So start at one end and flick. And when you do that, you can see that you get a little distribution of color. Maybe I should do that with, let me do it with a, a darker color so that you can see. I'm going to put a little bit of bronze on here and we'll do that again so that you can see how that color. So this is, sorry, I keep calling it bronze, it's copper. All right, so I put a little bit of copper enamel effects on here and I'm going to start at the top and just kind of flick and the top and flick. And depending on how much pressure you put on there will depend on how much color. But you can see how that adds a really neat dimension to a stamped image right on top. And it doesn't take hardly any time at all to add that. So just really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to wash this off so that the bristles of my uh, water painter are clean. It's really easy. I just swished it in a tiny bit of water and then wiped it on my cleaning cloth for my glass mat studio here. All right, so now I'm going to take one of my smaller water painters. So let's take this medium water painter here. And the other thing you can do is you can add some water or dip this in, in some water. I have my, I have my, um, little silicone mat here that comes with my glass mat studio. I have some water in here. I also have some water in the barrel. It's up to you if you prefer to dip it or if you prefer to squeeze it out, but I want to splatter. So I'm going to take a wet brush and I'm just going to pick up this color and then you can either tap this on a bone folder or flick it on the lid, but you can just Take that enamel effects and you can splatter it onto your paper. There wasn't much enamel effects on there, so let's add a little more. I'll add black to make it a little easier to see. So I want my um, brush to have a fair amount of water on it and then just add it right in there and dilute this a little bit with the water, okay? And then we can just, again, splatter. Okay, so I'm just hitting this right on my bone folder. And you can see how cool those splatters are. You can add these to backgrounds. You can add them to sentiment pieces or little die cut elements that you're adding on your project when it just needs a little something so that it's not so plain. So hopefully you're able to see that well. Let me adjust my light here. I'm a little bit dark. There you go. So hopefully you can see that. Isn't that neat? The splatters are all different sizes. So a really fun way to add this to your project. And again, I'm just going to put it in water and rinse it off. And then I'll just take my little cleaning cloth that came with my glass mat studio and clean off my bristles there. All right. So we've done misting, we've done splatter, we've done dry brush technique, and we've misted our layer, we've done direct paper. I wanna bring in some of these layers now because they dry actually quite quickly. So let's scooch this out of the way and bring these in and take a look at them. So here is the misting on the Blackberry Bliss layer. And I don't know if you can appreciate the beautiful shimmer that is on here. So this was silver on Blackberry Bliss. Here's silver on black, so pretty. And here's the gold on black. And I really put this on heavy again. You can adjust how much shimmer you have by how much misting you do, as well as how much enamel effects, and the pearl looks just like this. It's so pretty, um, how much you uh, apply to your project. Now here is the gold applied over 
pecan pie on an embossed layer. And here is the white pearl applied on white to give you a tone on tone for a more subtle look. And I think this embossing folder uh, might be retired actually. I just saw that and I went, oh, I'll grab that and, and use it instead of embossing another layer. So really, really cool. All right, now so that you can get a look at how these colors are, I want to show you. So let's do the pearl first. So I have white. You can also um, put this on your paper and kind of drag it to create lines and you can get little breaks in your enamel effects or you can be more intentional and slow down and get a solid line like that. So it's your choice and it dries pretty quickly. So that's the pearl white. Here's the pearl red, it's so pretty. And here is the black, which is kind of almost like a charcoal. I love this one. So that's your pearl collection, white, red, and black. And then you have your three metallics. You have silver, gold, and copper. So those are the six colors. Isn't that beautiful? It's really beautiful. Now, one of my other favorite ways to use enamel effects is by using a silicone mat. And I like to create what I call uh, little dots for my projects. And the way to do that is I just hold my bottle up and down and you can create dots of different size. Squeeze a lot or squeeze a little. It's your choice. And then I pull my bottle straight up and you're going to get these little peaks. You can see that one I didn't pull straight up and so the, the peak went off to the side. But you get kind of like little tiny peaks. But if you take your silicone mat and just drop it flat down on your surface a couple of times, those peaks completely go away. And then as your dots dry, they'll flatten out a tiny little bit. And this is what you're going to get. I made some out of the copper. You're going to get these little dots and you could add these onto your projects with a little glue dot or a little dab of liquid glue. But aren't those so cool to get these little dots? They're so shiny and really pretty. And then I'm just storing them in an embellishment container that I used up the embellishment. So now I have this little plastic container. You can make a whole bunch. You can set them out to dry and then they just pop right off the silicone mat. They don't stick to this. And they can be different sizes and you can store them in your container and use them up. I just used a whole bunch of them and I haven't made more yet. So that is a really fun little tip for creating your own custom embellishments. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the really cool ways that you can use these enamel effects on your projects. They're really, really pretty. Splatter, dry brush, misting, direct to paper, direct to texture. And here again are your colors. So I hope you make a project and share it with us. Thank you for watching.